everyone, Amanda here. And today, Anna will be joining us. We're going to be doing mini circuits. So if you have a little bit of equipment at home, for example, we're going to be using 10 pound dumbbells and 15 pound dumbbells, as well as we have an aerobic step, but you can use your bottom stair. So we've also set up a chair next to it, which will mimic having the railing next to you. So you'll be able to use that for balance on any exercises that you need to. So we're gonna start off with a light warm up. So we're gonna start off with high knees. So we're gonna bring our knees up, alternating. So we're going to do this Tabata style where we do 20 seconds of the exercise. Then if it's a unilateral exercise, meaning single sided, we're going to switch sides. All right, let's take it to in and outs here. So we're gonna go in, in, out, out, march it out. So in our unilateral exercises, we're going to switch off to the other side, or if it's a bilateral exercise, we're going to continue with the same movement. We're going to do 20 seconds, 10 second rest, 20 seconds of the other side or same movement. All right, let's take it to reaches, reach across. Then we're going to move stations. So Anna and I will switch. Anna will start with the dumbbell exercise and I'll start with the stairs. All right, let's take it back to high knees. And then in between, we're going to go to a cardio. Both of us will do the cardio at the same time. So we'll switch off, Anna will use dumbbells, I'll use the stairs, we switch, and then cardio after that. So we're doing three rounds of each circuit. All right, so you can take in and out. So three exercises, and we're gonna go twice a round. So the round will last six minutes. Breathe through this, slowly getting your heart rate up. And let's take it to one more round of side to side and reach. Let's reach it out. Breathe through this. So this is a way that you can share one set of dumbbells that you have at home, but still work out together at the same time. Two more. All right, so we're gonna start off with our first round. Anna is going to start with a dumbbell bent over row. And I'm gonna start off with a Bulgarian split squat. In the Bulgarian split squat, I'm gonna place one foot on the stairs, jump my other leg forward, set my shoulder blades back, and I'm going to sink down into a lunge position. All right, let's start our timer. So Anna is gonna have her feet shoulder width apart, folding forward from the hips, and she's going to row the weight up. I'm gonna jump my leg forward, ready? Here we go, 20 seconds on. So I'm going to sink down into my lunge and the goal here is to keep my chest upright to minimize that forward lean. So I'm going to inhale down, exhale up and a squeezing her shoulder blades together. You can use your arms for balance if you need to. All right, I'm going to switch sides. Hannah's going to do the same movement. So my other foot's going to come up, jump my leg forward and let's feet her shoulder width apart. Ready? Let's go. So I'm going into my Bulgarian split squat, using my arms for balance, and Anna's squeezing her shoulder blades together. Breathe through this. So after this, this set, we're going to switch off. I'm going to switch to the dumbbell exercise, and Anna's going to switch to the stairs. All right, let's switch here. So in the row, feet are shoulder width apart. I'm going to fold forward from the hips, with my back flat, here we go. And I jump your leg forward just a little, there you go bud. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, abs are in, neck is neutral. Keep it going, abs are in, chest is back, shoulder blades are back Anna. There you go, rest for 10. So Anna's gonna switch legs and I'm gonna do same side. So feet shoulder width apart, fold forward, get ready. Here we go. Breathe through it. Now in the Bulgarian split squat, the knee should stay behind the toe on that forward leg. So when I asked Anna to bring her leg a little more forward, it's because her knee was coming past her toes. Almost there. And rest. So our cardio is going to be heel jacks, and we're both gonna do two sets. 
we're gonna switch back. Ready? Let's go. Keep it up. Part right up here. Now, if you can do regular jumping jacks in your space, that's fine. Our ceilings are a little low, so we'll stick with the low impact option so we're not hopping. All right, rest for 10, catch a breather. We're gonna do those heel jacks again, and then we're gonna do that once more. Nice deep breathing, three, two, one, let's go, heel jacks. Breathe through this. Keep it up. So we're keeping our heart rate up while giving our muscles a break. All right, rest. Let's go back to our initial station. So I'm going back to the Bulgarian split squat and Anna is back to the rows. So I'm going to jump my leg forward, set my shoulder blades back. Ready? Here we go. So Anna is squeezing her shoulder blades together and I'm sinking down into the lunge with my neck in a neutral position, my chest lifted, and then pushing off the forward leg heel. Inhales you lower, exhales you come up, and that applies to both. All right, I'm gonna switch legs. Hannah's gonna do a second set of rows. So I'm gonna jump my leg forward, catch my balance here. Ooh. Ready, let's go. Breathe through this. Chest lifted, abs in. Push through. You're almost there. Rest. All right, let's switch off. Anna's gonna go to the stairs. I'm gonna go to the rows. So, feet are shoulder width apart in the row. Fold forward, let's go. That's it, you got it. I'm pulling my shoulder blades back and together. Keeping my chest out. Exhale up, keep it going. Three, two, one. Take a breather. One more set of each before our cardios and then we're gonna move on to three new exercises. All right, get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Now in the row, your arms should hang so that the wrist is neutral. A common mistake with the row is that people will often curl the wrist as they pull, but that can put added strain on the wrist. So we want to keep it neutral. All right, let's lower these down. We're going for cardio here. Heel jacks, two sets, then a water break. Three, two, one, let's go. This keeps our heart rate up. Keep breathing through. You got this. Five more seconds. And rest. One more set of heel jacks, followed by a water break. So let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Here we go. Keep it up, keep it up. Heart rate is up. We're giving our grip a break, giving our arms a rest, legs a rest. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Grab some water. Take a water break here. Following that, we're gonna start with our next round. So, for this set, Anna is going to do an overhead tricep press, but because our ceilings are low, she's going to sit on a stool. So if you have low ceilings, you can sit in a chair or on a stool to perform this exercise. If your ceilings are high enough, you can stand upright in the tricep press. Now, for my leg exercise on the step, I'm going to do a single leg deficit squat. So if you need to hold on to your railing for this one, you can, but if you can do this one while balancing, that's okay too. So I'm going to start with one foot on the stair. I'm going to go into a semi-squatting position. When I lower down, my foot is going to touch the floor, but I'm not going to put weight on it. I'm just touching down and coming back up. That means that the weight is on the leg on the stair at all times. All right, so let's get ready. 
So I have a single leg on the stair. Anna's sitting in an upright position to do her tricep press. I'm gonna start semi-squatting. Ready? Here we go. So I'm gonna touch my foot down and then return to an upright position. Now, if you need to hold on to the stair railing here, that's okay. I'm trying to maintain my balance and all of my weight is on the leg that's on the stair. Almost there, three, two, one. So now I'm going to switch directions. So I'm gonna face the other way, place my foot on the stair and Anna's gonna do her second set of tricep press. Ready? Here we go. So with this one, I'm demoing while holding on to the railing. So it's just a light touch on the railing if you're using it. And the foot's just gently touching down to the floor, not putting weight on it. I'm trying to keep the tension on the quad that's on the stairs. Rest. All right, let's switch it out. So we're going to go to a tricep press here. And Anna's going to go to the deficit squat on the stairs. Ready? Let's go. So in my tricep press, I'm keeping my elbows in. So my chest is lifted and my elbows are in tight. So my upper arms are parallel to my head. Stay in that upright position. Abs are in three, two, one. Take a breather. Now this can also be done with two dumbbells, which I'll demonstrate here, where I'm placing the flat sides of the dumbbells together for a heavier weight. Here we go. So if you felt like that first set of tricep wasn't challenging enough, we're gonna take it into two arms here, two dumbbells for a heavier weight. Breathe through this. Abs are in, keep it up. Three, two, one. All right, let's go up to our cardio, repeater knee. So in the repeater knee, we're gonna go to the right with the knee up, ready? Let's go, just the right side. Get that knee up high. We're gonna switch legs on the second set. Keep it going. Push through, push through. Five more seconds. And rest. So this time we're gonna take it over to the other side. Catch your breath here. And we're gonna go facing to the left. Get ready. Let's go, 20 seconds on the clock. Keep it up, get that knee up high. Push through, five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Let's switch back. I'm gonna take it to the single leg deficit squat. Anna's gonna go into the tricep press. Remember, you can do it seated or standing. Ready? Let's go. So in the deficit squat, I'm focusing on my quad on the step. Breathing through this. The foot is just touching down to the floor just to make contact, but I'm not keeping weight on it. Rest. I'm going to switch sides and I'm going to take a breather. So on this set, I'm going to use the hand railing. Get ready, here we go. So if you are using your hand railing, remember it's just a light touch, not a full grip. You wanna make sure that you have to use your balance a bit as well, just for some added support. Breathe through this, focus on that quad on the step. Rest, all right, let's switch. I'm gonna take you to the tricep press, Hannah's going to the deficit squat. I'm gonna use two dumbbells on this, but you can use one. Ready, here we go. Now remember, you can do this seated or standing. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep breathing through it. One more set. So you can see this from the side here. Sitting up tall, ready? Let's go. Abs are in, chest is lifted, elbows staying nice and tight. You got it, Anna. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Five more seconds. Rest. 
All right, we're gonna take it into repeater knee to the right side. Ready? Let's go. Knee up high, out those arms. Keep pushing yourself here. Almost there, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Catch a breather here. We're gonna take it over to the other side. And then we'll grab a water break after this. Three, two, one, let's go. Knee up high, you add those arms in. Breathe through it. Keep pushing here, eight more seconds. Three, two, one. Grab a water break, take a breather, and I'll demo the next exercises. So Anna is going to be doing a seated dumbbell shoulder press. Now, once again, if you can do this from a standing position in the space that you're working in, that is fine. You're gonna sit up tall, starting with your upper arm parallel to the floor, press up and inward, and then inhale and lower down. On the step, I'm going to be doing a set of dips. So I'm going to start by sitting on the stair, placing my hands, palms down on the step. I'm going to walk out so my heels are on the floor, and then I'm going to touch my bum down while bending from the elbows, and then press myself up, straightening out my elbows. All right, let's get that timer started. So once again, I'm going to step, my, sit myself on the seat, walk myself out, and it's gonna get ready for that shoulder press. Ready, let's go. I'm gonna to touch my bum down to the floor and then push myself up using my triceps. Now, if this feels a little easy for you, you can make this harder by going single leg. You can cross one leg over, which will destabilize you and give you one less point to balance from. So. Once again, I'm gonna place my bum on the stair, walk myself out. Ready, here we go. Now, if you're doing that single leg, you can cross over the other leg. Breathe through it, keep the elbows in, pushing yourself up here. Exhale up, inhale down. Four more seconds, triceps should be getting tired. All right, let's switch off. So I'm gonna take it to the seated shoulder press. And Anna is going to take it to the dips on the stairs. Ready? Let's go. <sighs> Sitting tall, breathing through it. You got it. Abs are in. Strong core. <sighs> Five more seconds. Keep it going. <sighs> Rest. Take a breather for 10 and catch your breath. So, recovering here, three, two, one, let's go. Shoulder press, standing or seated, and dips, you got it. Exhale up, inhale down. We're gonna wanna give those arms a break shortly. We're gonna take it to our cardio. Almost there. All right, let's lower it down. Our cardio here is going to be a step touch pec fly. So we're gonna step and open up the chest. Ready, let's go. Step, open up the chest, side to side. So you're just getting a nice big stretch here through those arms. That's gonna feel pretty nice after doing all those dips and shoulder presses. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Take a breather. We have another pec fly step touch. So get ready, three, two, one, let's go. So this is our active rest. The cardios are not meant to be very challenging on this. It's meant to give us a minute break between our strength exercises. Shake out those arms, five more seconds. Three, two, one, let's switch back. So I'm gonna start with the dips and it's gonna take it to the shoulder press. So I'm seated, walk myself out, chest lifted, 
Let's go, 20 seconds on the clock here. So I'm keeping my elbows in, I'm just touching my bum down, but I'm not putting any weight on it. So I'm just touching down to make sure I get the depth of the dip. Exhale up. You got it, Anna, keep it going. Rest for 10. One more set of dips or shoulder press, and then we're gonna switch off again. Let's get ready. Here we go. Using that bottom stair, breathe through it. Neck is in a neutral position, just touching my bum down, keeping the tension on the triceps. You're almost there, keep it up, keep it up. Breathe through it. All right, let's switch off. So once again, I'm gonna take it to the seated shoulder press, but you can go standing. Anna's gonna take it to dips. Ready? Let's go. Arms should be getting tired here. This is a tough combo. Breathe through this. Standing tall or sitting tall in that shoulder press. Almost there. Whew. Take a breather. 10 second break. One more set. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe through this, you can do it. Halfway, halfway. Exhale up, inhale down, push yourself. Five more seconds. Two, one. All right, let's take it to our pec flies with the step touch for cardio. So we're gonna get those arms nice and wide, ready? Let's go. Shake it out. Stretching out that chest. Arms should be, feel pretty tight here after doing that combination. Keep breathing through it. Three, two, one. Take a 10 second breather. One more round of those pec flies, then a water break and our new round of exercises. Three, two, one, let's go. Push through it. You're almost there, 10 seconds to go here. Stretch out that chest. Three, two, rest. All right, grab a water break, take a breather, and then I'll demo the next exercises. So our next round, Anna will be doing dumbbell bicep curls. Now, you can either curl with your elbows tucked in, or you can turn your palms up while curling for a supinated curl. Whatever's more comfortable for your elbows and your wrists is fine. And on the step, I'm gonna take a big step out from my stair. I'm going to side squat onto the stair, and when I squat down, the depth of my squat is gonna be that my elbow touches that leg. So I'm really gonna get a big stretch through the adductor on that side. All right, let's get our timer going. Anna's gonna go into a bicep curl. So once again, you can either curl with the palms up or you can turn. I'm gonna take a big step. Ready, let's go. Squatting down. I'm pushing my chest out and I'm just using that stair to set my foot on and lower down into the squat. And this one does take quite a bit of flexibility. So you're going to not get as far down into the squat. Take a breather, but that's okay. We are still getting that big stretch in the adductor. So I'm gonna turn and face the other way into my next set of squats. Ready, let's go. Breathe through this. Chest lifted, abs in. You can do it. Almost there. Rest. All right, we're gonna switch off. I'm gonna go into curls. Anna is going to take it to the stairs. So I'm gonna do a supinating curl here. Ready, here we go. My shoulder blades are back. My chest is lifted. I'm bracing through my trunk, pulling the abs in. 
and exhaling and curling up. It's a slow, controlled lowering phase, so I'm not flinging the weight up or down. Rest for 10, take a breather. So Anna's gonna switch sides on her squat. My feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. I'm setting my shoulder blades back. Ready, let's go. So just take your foot off the step and step on. There you go. And then squat and step off. There you got it. Step on and squat. There you go. Keep it up. Three, two, one. All right. Let's switch to cardio here. So our cardio is going to be punches. Three, two, alternating punches. Let's go. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Strong punches here. You got this. Five more seconds. And rest. Take a breather. Catch your breath. We're going to go into a second set of punches. In three, two, one. Let's go. Exhale as you punch. It's a strong punch. Keep it up. Cardio gives us a break from those strength exercises. Keep pushing, five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna take it back to the step. So I'm gonna go into my side squat onto the step and I'm gonna go into the bicep curl. Get ready, let's go. Breathe through this. Abs are in. Push your chest out. Bracing through the trunk. Now remember, you won't get quite as low in these squats as you do on the floor. That's okay. Keep your chest out. Break for 10. And I'm gonna switch directions here. So I'm stepping away from the steps. So I have lots of room to move. Get ready. Let's go. Try not to curl the wrist. Keep your wrist in a neutral position. There you go. Keep your neck neutral. You got it. Breathe through. Almost there. Rest. All right, let's switch off. We're gonna take it to bicep curls. Hannah's gonna take it to the step. So my feet are shoulder width apart, setting my shoulder blades back. Ready? Let's go. That's it, you got it. Now in your bicep curl, you want to have a slight bend in the knees. That will prevent you from swinging through the lower back. Keep it going for five more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's take a breather here for 10. And then we're gonna go back to two more rounds of punches. Feet, shoulder width apart, the bicep curl. Ready? Let's go. Chest out, flat back. There you go. Breathe through this, you got it. 10 more seconds. Exhale up, inhale down, push yourself. You can alternate if you're getting tired on those curls. Rest. So our cardio here is gonna be punches in five, three, two, one, let's go. Keep it going, keep it going. Breathe through this. Exhale as you punch. Use those lats. Three, two, and rest. Now on our next round, we have one more round of cardio, but on our next round, I'm gonna do the dumbbell exercise first and Anna's going to start on the stairs. Ready, let's go. So we'll take a water break after these. And following that, I'm gonna demo the dumbbell exercise to start. Keep it going, keep it going, you can do this. Push through, keep those punches going. Three, two, rest. All right, take a breather while I demo the next exercise. So this one is going to be a staggered leg deadlift. So I'm going to use my dumbbells and I'm gonna show you from the front and the side. So in this one, I'm going to stagger my feet 
So right now my right foot is back and my right toe is aligned with the arch on the front leg, which is the left foot. So I have a slight bend in the knees, set my shoulder blades back. The dumbbells are going to stay close to my thighs. So right now my thumbs are set on top of my thighs. As I slide and bend forward, my thumbs graze the front of my legs till I get a stretch in the hamstrings, which is about mid shin, and then I'm gonna return back up. So I'm going to inhale and I'm going to exhale. And I'm gonna show you from the front. My feet are staggered, my shoulder blades are back, and my chest is out with my chin in a neutral position. And I'm going to slide forward and get that big stretch in the hamstring. And you will feel it more on the on the forward leg than you will on the back leg. And for Anna, she's going to be doing a calf press on the step. So she's using the railing for balance and you will need to use it on this one. And she's going to press up. So her heels are dropping below the top of the step. So they're actually coming further down. And when she presses herself up, she's squeezing the calves. All right, let's get our timer started here. So once again, I'm starting with the staggered leg deadlift. Anna's in the calf press, holding onto the railing. So my right leg is slightly back, feet are shoulder width apart, set the shoulder blades back. Let's go. Hold forward, breathing through this. And when I come down, I'm pushing my bum back, pushing my chest out, and I'm pressing my heels into the floor. By pressing the heels down, I'm gonna get a bigger stretch in those hamstrings. All right, I'm gonna switch my forward foot. So now my right foot is going to come forward with my left leg back, feet shoulder width apart, set the shoulder blades back, chin neutral. Ready? Let's go. Anna's on her second set of the calf press here. So she's dropping below the top of the step, squeezing the calves, breathing through it. So you're inhaling as you lower it and you're exhaling as you come up. Squeeze your glutes. Rest. All right, let's switch off here. So Anna is going to take it to the deadlift and I'm going to be in the calf press. So my feet are on the edge of the stair with my heels hanging off. I'm going to press myself up and then lower down. Press myself up and lower down. Breathe through this. Squeezing the calves. And in your calf press, you can even switch the angle of your toes and it will actually change the feeling of the calf press. So on this one, I'm gonna show you with my feet facing slightly inward. So my heels are flaring out with my toes inward. Ready? I'm gonna press it up. Now when I do this, I'm actually gonna get more on the outside of the calf. So just by changing the angle a little, I can actually switch where I'm feeling it in the calves. Breathe through this. And this one is a great cross training exercise for running or cycling. All right, we're gonna go to cardio here. So in this one, we're gonna go to a squatting touchdown. So we're gonna touch down and pull that shoulder back. Ready? Let's go. Pull back, squat down. If you can't get all the way to the floor, that's okay. The goal is to get your heart rate up here, bend at the knees, bend from the hips, pull the shoulder blade back. Breathe through it, five more seconds. And rest. All right, we're gonna take it over to the other side. So feet are wide, toes are flared. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat and pull. Like you're shooting a bow and arrow. You're pulling that shoulder blade back. Keep your chest out in the squat. Push through, push through. You can do it. Three, two, one, let's switch off. One last round. So I'm gonna take it to the deadlift. So once again, right foot is slightly back. Ready, here we go. My right toe aligns with the arch of the left heel or the left foot. So it's not a big stagger position. It's just enough to offset your balance and offset which leg is working harder. Push the heels into the floor and rest. So we're gonna take it to the other side. The other foot comes forward, feet are shoulder width apart. Now Anna, if you wanna switch up your foot position, you can turn your toes in with your heels out. You got it, ready? Let's go. Squeeze the glutes, pressing the heels into the floor. And much like our side squat, 
the depth of this deadlift will not be as far as what you do in a regular deadlift because the position is a little bit compromised for the hamstring. Rest. So I'm going to take it to the calf presses. Anna's going to go two sets of deadlifts. We just have two more rounds of cardio after that. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Breathing through this. So I'm lifting and squeezing through the calves and I'm using my hand on the railing for balance. Breathing through it. Almost there. Rest. Now, once again, you can either keep that foot position or you can change so that the toes are angled inward with the heels flared out. Lift the chest, neck in a neutral position. Here we go. Squeeze it up. You're almost there. Just one last minute of cardio before we take it to our cool down and our stretches. All right, so we're going to do a reach down squat. We're gonna to touch down to the floor. So wide foot position, ready, let's go. Touch down, pull up, touch down, pull up. Squatting down nice and low, but if you can't get all the way to the floor, that's okay. Brace your core, breathe through this. Five more seconds. And rest. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. One last round. And then we're gonna do a slight cool down. Three, two, one, here we go. Push through. Last round here, give it your all. Ten more seconds. Keep it going, get nice and low in that squat. Three, two, one. All right, we're just gonna let our heart rate come down slowly. We're gonna go with a march. So we're gonna march this out. So right now, our heart rates are elevated and our breathing is a little bit quick. So we just want it to come down nice and slow. And let's just take it to a side to side reach, stretching out through the upper back. Two more, and let's take it to a shrug. So our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. I'm going to bring my shoulders up and then press them down. So let's bring them up and squeeze, press them down. Pushing the clavicle down past a neutral position. Two more. And we're gonna stretch out our chest. So with this one, we're gonna tuck the elbows in. So the elbows are nice and tight and the palms are up. I'm gonna set my shoulder blades back. So I'm lifting through the chest, but keeping the chin neutral. And we're gonna move the hands outward, but keep the elbow in and then back into the center. So with this one, you might have a bigger range of motion. Like Anna can actually go right to the side, whereas I can't quite go as far into this stretch. I want you to do whatever feels right for your shoulders. It should feel like your chest is opening, but your shoulders are being pulled back and down. And that all depends on shoulder mobility for this one. Two more. And one left. All right, we're gonna take it into our stretches. So we're gonna place one heel up, bend in the other leg, and we're gonna glide forward. So from here, I'm only gonna go as far as the bottom of my shin. Whereas, as you can see, Anna can make it all the way to her foot, and that's fine. You just want to get that stretch in the back of the hamstring, going as far into the stretch as what's comfortable for you. Breathing through this. Now, in this one, I'm going to keep my head down, and I'm going to put the other leg up. We don't want to come up too quickly, because that can lead to some dizziness. So we want to keep the head down for now before we lift it up. Catching your breath here. Breathing should be slowly returning back to a normal rate. Now in this one, I'm gonna come out of the stretch, so I'm gonna put that 
foot down, and I'm just going to slowly slide back up with my head down, head down. And at the very last movement, I'm going to pull my head back up, pull my shoulder blades back and down. So now I'm going to take it into a nice wide foot position, palms up. I'm going to lean to the side. So I'm stretching through the side of my body. I'm going to get a big stretch through the lats. And let's take it over to the other side. And let's stretch out the chest. So I'm going to clasp my hands behind and then pull my shoulder blades back and down, opening up the chest. So my chin stays in a neutral position. I'm not bobbing my neck forward. Pulling my shoulder blades down. Breathing through it. And let's stretch out the shoulders. So let's take one arm across, anchor it down, pull in toward the torso. And breathing should just be returning back to normal about now. Might be slightly elevated still, but it should be close, close to normal. Let's switch sides, pulling the shoulder across, anchoring it down toward the torso. And lastly, let's stretch out our triceps. So I'm going to take my arm, the other hand is going to be placed on the elbow, and I'm just going to gently pull the hand down. So my hand is touching the base of the neck or the very top of the back. Get a nice big stretch in the tricep. Let's shake out those arms one more on the other side so let's bring it up anchor it down gently pressing down to the base of the neck breathing through this and let's shake it out so thanks to Anna for joining me today and I'm glad to see you again tomorrow for another workout I'll see you for a strength workout. Have a great day.